this is Patsy with your uh, Bible uh, reading for today. It's from Job chapter 9, verses 13 through 24. God does not restrain his anger. Even the cohorts of Rahab cowered at his feet. How then can I dispute with him? How can I find words to argue with him? Though I were innocent, I could not answer him. I could not plead with my judge for mercy. Even if I summoned him and he responded, I do not believe he'd give me a hearing. He would crush me with a storm and multiply my wounds for no reason. He would not let me catch my breath, but would overwhelm me with misery. If it's a matter of strength, he is mighty. And if it's a matter of justice, who can challenge him? Even if I, I were innocent, my mouth would condemn me. If I were blameless, it would pronounce me a bit guilty. Although I am blameless and have no concern for myself, I despise my own life. It is all the same. That is what I say. He destroys both blameless and the wicked. When a scourge brings sudden death, he mocks the despair of the innocent. When a land falls into the hands of the wicked, he blindfolds its judges. And if it's not he, then who is it? Well, poor Job, he was having a terrible day, <laughs> as you can see, and was looking for justification to try to um, uh, justify uh, his uh, righteousness before God. And, you know, he knew he was going to fail in that, in that pursuit. Wow, it, it, we all have uh, sometimes uh, want to feel justified and how we feel and we feel down and we feel hurt and we feel anger and um, we look to God and say oh you know this is not going to work I want to tell you that it does work if we look to God and uh, help you understand it even better I want you to listen to Pastor Kevin's sermon last Sunday on June 14th it I've only listened to the service two or three times because he explains things so beautifully about repentance, uh, refreshing, and restoration, the three R's. It's absolutely beautiful how he um, uh, lays this out for us to learn from and why uh, from that we can by the Holy Spirit do things in God's name but in the most favorite quote, quote from his sermon that I, I will burn in my heart forever is that we are not defined by the hurt of our past but by the healing that will last uh, if you just hold on to that th thought and know that God has given us the healing through Jesus Christ wow what a wonderful thing. So uh, my suggestion is uh, I'm glad you heard me today. and uh, But I'd like you, uh, if you haven't heard it or you need to hear it again, uh, go to YouTube and listen to Pastor Kevin's uh, uh, Sunday service for Ju June 14th. It was uh, um, amazing and it uh, uh, will help you in so many ways. Well, that's it for me for, t for today, but I'll end with just one verse of a song. Just as I am without one plea, but that thy blood was shed for me, and that thou biddest me,